Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew After Dark. The <laughs> and cats, we're back. the cats did wake up when that intro sound oh, I know. song went. They were like, they were oh, like oh, 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 the show. Something's starting. They get excited for the show too. Yeah, they do. Welcome to After Dark. It's a little bit darker in the room, and we're going to be playing <laughs> Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Yeah, specifically Load Runner retail copy for by Dionoi. Yeah, Dionoi. Dion Ostorn. So, if you want to look at the unboxing, it exists on another video <laughs> when we had him live yes, talking with chatting. us. Well, I got to play many levels. Yes. I'm many, many levels. I'm going to start playing the levels. Yeah, you get to start. Do, I want to continue on. I can't remember. remember? I will I've, remember when we play it, but I can't remember yeah. how far I got. I didn't. I didn't take note of which one eight eight levels no um, couldn't have been that much six I at think. least six there's the what poster are you, playing with, you silly cat awesome poster there um so let's pop this and no. we're gonna be playing on the 7800 because the 2600 isn't quite dialed in yet it does work mm. but uh i've got the retro tank working here hey dan abc chelsea don mao yeah uh so let's Pop it into the 7800. Fluffy cats, what are you chewing on? Oh, let's turn it off. Flip it over. Oh, I gotta get the right cartridge. Boom. And let's start it up. on the intro on our TV screens. There we go. So there's two um, color themes that you can oh, pick as right. well, which is really cool. And once we pick it, we're stuck with it. Well, yeah. For now. Yeah. I kind of like the blue. It shows up. It's I nice like and bright. both of them. They're both really nice. So we can use a pass key. Yep. If you keep track of them. Yep. That's not the right one. And you can set the speed to slower, medium, fast. We'll do medium. It's pretty good speed. Yeah. Slow affords you more thinking play, time. I think I played in the middle. I can't remember. Maybe I played slow. There are advantages to the fast, too. You, you yeah. kind of get through the level faster. It's true. Um, Let's do it. Level one. So, to play this game, you get all the gold. And when the guards go over the gold and they don't already have one, they pick up a piece of gold. And you have to get them trapped to get that gold from them. And you go around the level, getting the gold. And it says there's one more gold I have to get. It says at the bottom, has the level, has the timer. And then when you get all the gold... Oh, gonna be trouble. Trouble. And there, oh, well, we can go up here. Perfect. And that is level one. That's Ooh, how it's that done. That was very fast. Speed it took me a run. lot longer to get through level one. There's the pass key. There's the pass key. So that means we can continue on when we are these per level pass keys. Mm-hmm. Like it like keeps track of all one fifty levels. I yeah, can't remember I what think he said. I, I'm gonna guess that's true. I don't know. So now there's some parts where you can't dig them out. Well, you, those you, are signified by a different floor piece. Oh, floor parts that you can't dig out. Yeah, yeah. if it's if it's not if it doesn't look loose, if it looks if it's those lines, yes. then yeah. Now the first bunch of levels are kind of like, well, you can kind of do them without too much like troubleshooting, like yeah. doing some crazy stuff. You can kind of just go for it. Oh yeah, you have one still. And then there's, then it slowly introduces like things like you see here, where you have to kind of dig your way out. Mm -hmm. uh, they're kind of, okay, yeah, yeah, fall down there. Both of you, both of you, both of you, both of you, both of you. Yes, oh, you bastard. That's fine. And as long as you make it to the top of the screen yeah. anywhere, you can make it out. Yeah. Because it fills in the ladders. Mm. Old Style says he plays the Win 31 version, Win 3.1 version yeah. a lot. Yeah. 
I played a little bit C6 on the C64, but I didn't really understand the game fully when I was playing it. I didn't understand mm -hmm. the movements of the guards and how you can manipulate them mm -hmm. and how you could dig to certain to the gold pieces. So I just I got really frustrated and yeah. gave up on it. But now since I was uh, we were both beta testers on this. Oh yeah, um, it's funny how beta testing a game you get a, a better get pretty, feel for you get pretty decent the gameplay. <laughs> yeah. And it's really uh, the digging that really helps you out quite a bit. And oh, he's, and when you kill a guard, you see that guy die. Yeah. Um, they appear. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Dion did such an amazing job of this, yeah. and which is no, it's no kidding that he got the official endorsement from Tozai mm -hmm. for this. So. Tar 2600 yeah. do play the championship load runner. What yeah. championship load runner was um, user submitted uh, levels. Uh, Chit Litla says uh, they. Uh, where are we? Oh here? my god. Oh my god. Recently got into this game on the A800. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah, 800XL played it on Apple IIC. Apple 2C. Yeah. IIC. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, that's the problem. Oh, that's how you get caught. Cat. So you, you try to dig a hole and then they get a little too close yeah. to you and then you're like, darn! Yeah. I'll have to get that gold later. Yeah, that's fine. I found this one a little bit challenging because of... You really do have to lure the guards to kind of this get them out do, of your there's path. There's only one way up yeah. to the, the ladder and it's yeah. on the left. Yeah. And they're they kind of annoyingly will go after you and but uh, you can kind of yeah. force them to go to certain spots. Yeah. Also, there's an issue with where the guards respawn to. Mm, at the top. At oh, the top. The, yeah, the and and they'll, they'll 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 you kind of need to get the catch basin right away because they'll respawn up there and then you're screwed. Yeah. But uh, it's 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 definitely do all unusual. This first, then. Yeah. I know they have some. Because then you have to go back up to that catch oh, basin. Oh, you do it first. Okay. Yeah. You're you're really stuck. Like you have to go all the way back around again to get back up there. Okay, I know yeah. one of those. Oh, he dropped it. I think. Um, I know one it's of those guards has a piece of gold. I'm pretty sure. No, no, it only says one left. Yeah. Okay, we're fine. Oh, it's on the left there. Yeah, which is annoying because you have fine. to fall down. Oh, oh, uh, oh, come on. You have to fall down. I think. Oh, you can go up that way. Oh. That a bit would have been good to know. Da, da, da. <laughs> they can't jump. There's no, no jumping. No, they just fall. Yeah. The A8 version color scheme is weird. Mm. The original one is because of the way. I do have a copy of it right here. Um, it's the original Atari 8-bit uh, oh. cartridge version of Load Runner, yeah. and it uses CRT effects to create mm. more colors. Mm. So if you play it on an LCD screen, a modern television, mm. it looks crazy. It looks like it's broken. And I thought my first copy was broken, and I unfortunately destroyed my first copy, thinking it was broken, because <laughs> there was something rattling around in it, which turns out it was just glue. Um, but uh, yeah, you can't um, play it on a new TV and have it look normal. <laughs> you have to either play it through emulation and turn on a, a special CRT effect, or you have to play it on a CRT, that original version. There is a later disc version that imp uh, changes the colors. Okay. This is where I... You did something very clever here, and I can't remember what I it was. I destroyed the beginning brick of every level so that I'd have two oh, spaces so like that this? I could trap. Ah, yeah. yeah. So I could trap him. Very smart. Very and then, clever. And then he goes, bloop. I was wondering what you did on the stream. Yeah. Um, Even Dion went, Dion oh. Dion was impressed. He was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that that's, works. Because <laughs> that's thinking way ahead. I was like, oh, yeah, no, I just need to drop him into something, but I need two spaces to be able to do that. Oh, it looks so. weird on your CRT, even. Oh, yeah. It, are you in PAL land? And you have an NTSC cart? Mm -hmm. that, that definitely could do it. 
Um, so you definitely made it to that. Mm -hmm. I think this is the level you didn't finish? I don't finish? remember. I don't, I, I mean, I, I have to look back at the stream. Remember playing this level. I don't think this one was hard. Was it? Um, or no, may, no, I, maybe I didn't get through it. I just didn't have time. No, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, you didn't get finish through it. I, yeah, I think we finished okay, you'll it. You'll play the next one then. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, forget you can do it from the side, from and the I side, and yeah. so I was trying to figure out how to do do it through different means, but you can do it through the side. Yeah, you have to kind of think a little bit differently think when ahead. you play. Bloop. Give it, give it, drop it. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it keeps it there. Nice. Yeah, so you So once you've gone through a um, yeah. kind of a trap, it'll uh it'll oh, I'll have to do this again. You're going too close to me. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. But there's trap here. No. There is on the far end, I think. Here? No, no, no. on the other side. Oh, okay. There's one on that side. Uh, hmm, I think I'll have to lure these guys down and then go up that ladder. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to kill them or not, because that'll get rid of them. Oh, they might mm -hmm. respawn somewhere. Nope, I can do this. Well, you go to the top and then fall through, right? <gasps> no, go to the top and fall through. Oh, no, you can't, can you? I don't know. Ooh. Maybe. Hmm. Saxmeister, I need that MOS 6502 shirt. Uh, yes, uh, from Redbubble. If you want to get it exactly mm -hmm. the same place, I got it. Oh, oh my god. Well, one of them's going to go. Okay, both of them are going to go. Oh, he spawned there. Ugh. I guess they spawn anywhere along the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, dude. I'm just going to have to get past you here. Ooh, I think I'm going to kill him. Mm -hmm. Depends where he spawns. Mm -hmm. A timer? That's it's an random. odd addition. No, he did change it so there's a timer instead of lives. Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, we won't do that. We'll go back down. Um, which I like. I mean, if you, you can play with... Oh, what am I doing? You can play with lives, and you just keep track of them and then start your game over if you want. Mm. Um, but he did timer so you can just keep playing until you finish the level. You go to the next level. Mm -hmm. Keep playing until you finish the level. Which I... I prefer, it's a more modern style of playing games, um, where older systems, it's like, you know, older systems like, oh, you get five lives, and then you have to start from level one again, which is not a total bunch of fun. Nope, nope, you go down the ladder. Go, go, go down. Run, 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 run. I'll get these two. Mm. That blank space beneath that one is funny. It do he doesn't fall into it. Because it falls into, like, the hole. Come on. Uh oh. Oh, I'm going to go down. Run, 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 there's run, stuff run, down run, here. Run. Fall, it's faster. Oh, no! You have to fall, have to fall from the top. Through. Right. That's okay. Yeah. So, ooh, there's so many guys there. Two, three, four. Mm. Mm, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, it is. No, it's not no, going to work. No, no, not going to work. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, all you guys come down here, then. Yep, you can trap a couple down there, probably. Ooh, yeah. Come on, everybody. Follow the leader. Yeah, it's not enough. That's okay. Ooh, if I fall down... Oh, how do I get them out of there? Just okay, trap dudes. them. Trap them. Just get a couple down there. Yeah. Yeah, no. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. He's following you. Maybe I need them all up here. I don't 
Um, you can you can trap them there. You just don't want four. Oh, the other guy's coming from the other side. Now you're screwed. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Run! Ah! Oh, so close. Uh, I think I'm going to do that first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Well, there's only two. It, it's kind of good because they mm -hmm. separate them at first. So it's best to do those two areas. Mm -hmm. oh, I have to fall down here. And then do this other area because everything else can be completed a little bit. I might as well do this a little bit easier. You're saying no. Do something over here. Oh, I don't know. Is this know. a fall through? No. No. Risky. <laughs> but it worked. Oh, you got around him? Yeah. yeah that's all you need to do Very is get around risky. him. risky. But I did it, so mm. that worked. Get that. And that whole left side, they're all there. Mm -hmm. So that's perfect. Do this, and this, and they'll kind of stay there. Oh, he said, okay, I thought the level was going to end when it reached zero. That I would not like. No, it's just purely oh. bonus. Oh, damn it. That's okay. No, no, no. There, yeah, that's the only thing you can do, I think. I want to get that. Because you have to get past him. <gasps> You're screwed. No. Aren't you? No. Oh, that's true. Not screwed yet. Oh, now you might be. No. Oh, no, I'm not. <gasps> I killed him. Uh, Hilarious. Oh, no, he's on that one, side. Two, three, and I should be able to get past them in enough time. Run! Run! Whew, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, you probably didn't complete that. I don't one. think I completed that That one's level. a bit more challenging. Yeah. Level seven. Come here, kittens. Come on. Snuggles. Good kitty. Snuggles. Mm. Was I going to unbox the rest of this, I guess? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. And after dark, unbox the rest of my analog pocket. Yes, that's a very smart thing Waited to do. Waited for a year and a half for this. Very beautiful packaging. Top notch. Mm, I have to get from the top. I remember in the C64 version, if you press Control and A, it would kill you if you couldn't escape a situation. Does this version have that option? Um, there's probably a, like you press reset. I can't think of a situation where you would be, I guess there are situations where you could trap yourself, where there's nothing to dig and there's no holes you're being filled in and no guys can get to you to kill you. That makes sense. So this is the dock for it. Oh, hey. Oh God, that's stinky. Is it? Oh no! Oh no! What? You're fine. No, the stupid thing spawned. So I was about to go up there, but it oh. spawned in a really annoying place. Oh, nice and weighty dock. Oh, that's great. So it's got an HDMI out, two USB ports, so you can tr con connect up two controllers to play games. Mm -hmm. And before this, it was very hard to um, stream like Lynx games and Game Boy games. You'd have to have a GameCube, which also is a very rare uh, uh, component output. So it was very, very hard to do things. Oh, That's a very nice. Every time. No, nope, I'm screwed. Why does he? Oh, it's so annoying. Go get that one on the right. Oh, you can't. There you go. I have to fall through. Get that one. And then dig and then fall. Make sure you have lots of digging room. There you go. 
Nice. You did it. Perfect. As long as that guy can drop down. Oh. Are you gonna drop down? No. I will. What are these? So it's got a, it came with a power adapter. How much wattage is this? Or amperage. Oh. Black writing on black is impossible to read on plastic. Uh, oh. Are these HDMI cables? What are these? Oh, nice. Hmm. It is a USB-C power cable. Are we going to alternate levels, or do yes. you want to... Uh, you do this one. Okay. I'm just still investigating this. Okay. Oh, an HDMI cable. Hmm. So fancy. And a little card. What is, what is in this hmm. card? Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, it's a sticker. Now I kill myself. Um, brutal. Come on. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you could walk through that, so that oh. I was like, how am I supposed to make this work? And then, oh, oh, you only from the top, though. Interesting. What? How did this go back in? Oh, my God. Stop it. Cats think you're mad at them. <sighs> I am mad at them. <gasps> mad at the cats. Always. Oh, the cats. Oh, God. <gasps> Again. Oh, Buck Owens got stuck on the demo. This is not going back in properly. How did I do this? There we go. So that was that way. What? Oh, I bet it's only one way. Oh, it is funny. Funny. Indents at the top don't make it. We think you're cool too, spicy no. oatmeals. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Spicy oatmeals? <laughs> spicy. Spicy oatmeals. I don't need to open the screen protector. That's pretty boring. Let's open the Game Gear adapter. Thanks for watching, Spicy Oatmeals. What a great name. That is a great name. Is that like putting um, red pepper flakes in your oatmeal? I don't know if that will work very well. I've never had spicy oatmeal before. Um, put cinnamon in oatmeal. Doesn't really make it spicy, though. Mm, screwed. Ah, <laughs> smoosh. Forced into falling. Yeah, that should kill him. Spotlight effect is excellent, a hundred percent. Such a great effect, and he um, he says he does the calculations for that on the fly uh, during the interview. I don't know if you heard that. Um, you're probably playing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but um, yeah, Dion made. Yeah, it's best to f always fall on them because you never know. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have got that if you did it the other way. Uh, did you two guys fall in a hole just a bit ago? Yes, Tanya did, but it was a hole that she dug, so it filled it filled it in, and uh, and it killed her. So, oh, look at this adapter, see through. Mm. It's beautiful. It is. Let me show it to the cat cam. Try not to get in your way. It's the Game Gear adapter. Very nice. Ooh, my shoulder tweaked a bit there. Did it? I should do some more exercises. Yes, you should. My previously frozen shoulder from a couple of years ago. Well, I won't plug this in because I don't have any Game Gear games. But now I will get a Game Gear adapt or a multi cart. Um, does Crix sell Game Gear? Multi carts? I think he does because oh. every year he has a sale Come once on. a year for one day. Yeah. On Black Friday, which mm. is coming up. When is Black Friday? Next next Friday? Uh, this coming Friday. I think Thanksgiving's next weekend or is next weekend, weekend after? Yeah. 
I would marry that adapter. <laughs> it's a nice oh. adapter. Put oh, a ring on it. I wasn't, I wasn't watching, so I died. Um, <sighs> oh. Let's get out the pocket. And see if it, oh, it comes with a screen protector already on it. Nice. And what is this? Another cable for charging? For charging, I guess, if you don't have the the, the base for it. Because this originally was the way I was going to play Lynx games on the show. Oh. I ordered this a year and a half ago, right? So I thought, but in the meantime, there's an opportunity to get a modded Lynx. Uh, which is uh, being repaired right now. I did have it, but it didn't quite work out. Oh, I did the same thing. You can't do it there. Is there power? Oh, there's power. Power. Welcome to Pocket. Current GG cart is the X7. Nice. Okay. Short tutorial. Let's start the tutorial. Press to continue. Press to go back. Okay. Cool. Press that for menu. Okay, got it. Press blah for start. Yeah, select. Got it. Volume up and down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Press together to mute them. Does this have a headphone jack? Oh, it does have old school headphone jack. And it's got a link adapter. Oh, yeah. For um, Game Boy as well. So you can play two people together. Uh, press, hold analog and press volume for brightness. Hold analog and press left or right to cycle. Cycle through things, I guess. Original display modes during gameplay. Display modes, oh, okay. Press power to sleep and wake, got that. Hold power for on and off. Oh, this goes to sleep as well. I don't know how to get out of here. And your license agreement, yeah, let's, oh my God, I'm not reading that. Oh God! Well, I can suicide. I don't know how to get out of that middle area. That must be the last thing you have to do. Oh, how do you get you out of probably that middle ha area? It probably has to be the last thing you do. Oh yes, and then the the ladders will go to the top. Yeah. So, play cartridge. So is this ready for? Um, you don't even need an adapter. It's ready to play Game Boy games. I'm going to go get my Game Boy multi-cart from the other room. All right. And see if that works. I'll be right back. Because it has no adapters. It's just ready. And yeah. Oh, God damn it. And I'm trapped, 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 trapped. trapped. Where is, it? Where, is it? Where, is it? Where is it? There it is. I've got a Game Boy EverDrive X7. Oh, God. Okay. Silly, silly, silly. <sighs> Boom. Play cartridge. Loading. OS loading. Oh, it isn't it. Yes! Nice. Let's load a Game Boy Color. Let's load Shanty. Or not. Oh, no, that's Game Boy Color. It's the first one. Uh, let's see, what should I load up? Should be perfectly terrible in this. Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble. 
are you? Yep. Yep. Oh no. You have to time so it perfectly. Did it how did, oh, you got the one in the middle. How did you do no, that? No, I didn't get the one in the middle. It was oh he picked it up. Yeah. I know how to do it. I just when you have three guys there it's it's really kind of annoying. It's because when you kill them they kind of respawn in all different kinds of places, so I don't really want to kill them. Marble Madness. Currently dying. I'm wasting time. No, I don't. Oh, it. the screen is beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. you know how to get the one in the middle? Oh, I know how to get there, yeah. Oh, and then... It, it, the ladder has to come out from that top part. But unfortunately, right. one of these stupid guys how respawned. He, he oh, no. He, he spawned there. So that's going to be trouble. Yeah. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's going to be... Run. Oh, there you go. No. It's not good. There you go. And uh, run. Oh. You pretty much have to dig two and then one to respawn him out. Oh, he got me. It's too tight. Having two in there is a pain in the butt. But I mean, I know I know what to do. It just has to work in my favor. <laughs> yeah. It sounds great. It looks, it's so bright. The screen is so beautiful and bright. Beautiful. Love it. Now I don't have to use um, this one which is all scratched up and tiny and my Game Boy Advance SP. But it's very nice. Um, oh, so good. Um, and I have pre-ordered the Lynx adapter as mm. well, but we're going to have a proper Lynx here, which is what you really want. When you play retro games, you don't want to be playing on emulators, even though that is an FPGA uh, system. It is emulating the hardware. Mm. which is pretty much close as you can get to not emulation. Oh, this black cat is adorable. Oh, you're ripping through the levels now. <sighs> They're too far apart. As long as... Oh, now the danger is... Oh, just wait. Oh, wait for him and then do two more. Then you won't have... Then you won't kill him accidentally. There you go. Oh, Fuck. damn it. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, perfect. Oh, no. Now that guy might be killed. Oh, Don't no. go in the middle. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> you were close last time. You were close last time. I think it's you can doable, deal with two of them. but it's like a pain in the butt. It is. It's a lot harder. And it doesn't really help too much. You no. still have to fall down there. Boo. <laughs> you can do it. Get in there. Hopefully the, the one you pick is the right one. Oh, why does he just drop it? That's weird. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Get it. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, curtains. Oh Level 8 cleared. <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. Can't do anything on the bottom. That guy's trapped. Oh, there's there's fall throughs. Okay. <laughs> well, that gives it away. He can crawl across. He can't get you, can no, he? No, he can't. So I think probably get the right hand side one? Yeah. They're not gonna go there. Ooh, what I can do. Yeah. Oh no. Oh you need you need That's a mistake. Oh, that is a mistake. Correct. <laughs> correct. correct. Let's correct that. Uh, you need. What do I need to do? 
Ooh. Oh, you need to do it from the right. So you need to do one, two, three. Two. And three. then one, and then. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. You need to do like all of them. No. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Smart. Yeah, I was trying to get to the middle, though. Yeah, that guy, you have to, if you fall to the bottom, you're, you're screwed. Yeah, so don't do that. No, don't do that. Okay. Those guys going to go back up again to the top? or I would presume so. Because that's going to be a problem. The only They're way not. You can... They're going to stop. Oh, no, they go no. back to the top. Good, good, good. Um, but... Oh, are they going to get trapped in there? Yes. All four. Please go in there. Are they going to fall? silly monkeys. No, you have to get to the bottom. You have to drop. <gasps> That'll work. Oh, he's not dropping. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, you're screwed. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's going up. Oh, you can chase him up. Yeah, remember, they have a certain movement on the... They're very stupid. They're there very we go. Yeah. And they fall. So just don't fall there. Yep. Yeah. So drop hmm, there. can I get all of these? Maybe. I don't know. Really? I think that's pushing it, but anyway. No, I can't. No, you can't. Run. Mm, wait for that guy. You to have fall. to chase them up, yeah. Oh, maybe they can. They'll go up to the top. And then I'll chase them up, yeah. As soon as that guy is halfway up, right about now, let's go for it. Make it a ladder, and he becomes very dumb. Very dumb. <laughs> and then I just do the other one. What are you doing? Huh? No! Why? What? what? I don't know. I don't what know. What went on there? for all three. I'll let them chase me. I'll do the left first, and then just do that loop again. Ooh, did I mess up? Yep. Um, you did. I sure did. Oh, suicide, bye. Boo, bye. Filling in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to do one more than that. to read out when I finish this level. About, you do? Yeah, a couple things. So I have to bring that and that and then that and then wait. one, two. There you go. Yeah. And technically you can I should go right what, now. What, you wouldn't, what, you're not going to pick up that gold? Oh. I'll get it next time. <laughs> uh, then I can get that one, then that one, right? Mm -hmm. The one on the right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then that one, and then the middle one. Yeah, you can get them in succession. Or not. Am I stupid? Yeah. You are. <laughs> I'm stupid. But no, no I, I mean, I have to go you're down not. The right. But I, you, yeah, you, oh. you need to fill it in the other way. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. It's okay. It's easy in hindsight. Oh, I do have to uh, kill myself here. Oh. Yep. Yeah, it's just reset. Hmm. For those wondering. How much is the Crix uh, Game Gear cart? I think I'm gonna do that right hand one first. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what? That? No. No. Do the right first. Um, yeah. You have to do like three on, so you do the right three. Yeah. Those ones. Not that, oh. Not that one. No. Oh, okay. The right two. The right two. Drop in, do the one below you, below and right. then you have enough space. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that's my bad. Yeah, the right that two, one, and that one. one. Then you drop in, then that, that one, one, and, and then, then that one. yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, 135. Okay. Thank you very much. And then I'm still ahead of them. Two of them are trapped now. That is good. Which is very good. I don't know how that guy got trapped. I don't know. He fell at some point, but it's... Because I would love to make him do that, like, all four of them. Rather unusual. How would I... Damn it, I should have watched. So, uh, if you drop, it's... Is it f no, go over... Right? What? No. Oh. Button's not working. What button? Now you're screwed. Oh, no, you can chase them back up. You gotta stay at the bottom, right? Yeah. And then you... Can I make them drop? The bottom half. No, you have to stay at the bottom half. Yeah. Um, I don't think my button's working. I think I have to... No. Your button? Yeah. What's wrong? It's the thing. Whatever it is. Oh. Okay, what do I do? So you want to... Do this similar thing to last time. Uh, one more. And then drop them one, and then... There you go. Run! I want to get ahead of you. Oof, barely. Oh, that other guy came up there. Mm, interesting. Yeah. They That's kind fine. of end up in the same loop, don't they? They do, just different spaces. I'd, I'd, I'd rather them be together, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, yeah, let's get going. So on you this. have to do the two. No, 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 no. That one. There, now drop. Well, there you go. Now you can do two. Oh, you have to do done. two. There you go. There you go. So it's on the left. Oh, you should be okay then. Assuming they follow the same pattern. <gasps> no! no! Oh, I went down to. Oh. I didn't wait long enough uh, yeah. to get to the ladder. <laughs> it sucks. But I mean, it just you just keep trying. It's all good. You kind of know the pattern after a while. Like, it, yeah. Now try and watch and see what happens. No. Nope. And see how they fall. Watch watch to see how when they fall into there. Maybe it's because I'm right here. Yeah, nope, it's not. There you go. Oh, Should there. Stay here. Oh, damn it. They block each other. That's too bad. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. Ah. <laughs> but I could do it over and over again, can't I? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that'll, that'll make your life a lot easier if you try that again. Now, should I chase them? Yes. Yeah, you but want you want them to the top half. Yes. So yeah. There's enough time. There. Think so? Yeah. <gasps> nope, chase them up. Chase them. There you go. <laughs> they have to kind of get to the upper half for them yep. to chase. Yeah, it is very cool that Dianoid yeah. um, used the exact code. So you should try to trap them again. Go to the, the yes. right side again and oh, see, yeah. if, see if it works. It may not trap a third one. but The problem is I think they only fall when there's a spot to fall. But it's the timing. So so you kind of want them to sort of come across. Wait wait there before you drop. Yeah. So that they start to come across. Oh, And right. so that maybe they're on top of the third and fourth and then, then do that thing again. Mm, that's going to be very I don't know if that's going to be easy or hard. There. There. <gasps> oh, it's so good. <laughs> so good. Yep, move over. No! You're going to get smushed. <laughs> oh, you killed yourself. I did. After all of that. I know, oh, no. I know. Oh. I'll do it. You'll get it. You'll get it. <laughs> no, you'll get all four trapped, and then it'll then hopefully it'll be easy. Yeah. Easy breezy. Yeah. It's like when I did that that hey, test hey. the demo level, and I just I figured it out, and I kept dying and dying, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I did it once, and then I couldn't do it again. Maybe you can get all of them. Maybe. Hmm. Like as soon as I fall. He has to be on that fourth slot. There oh we go. wow! That's all you have to do. And then there's one guy left, which is great. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah. So you just have to fall, and they'll fall at the exact yeah. same time. Oh. Yeah, we can probably do it again. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, wine cat. Have to just fall when he's right over that spot. Yeah. That'll make my life a lot easier. 
Okay, Mr. Orange Dude. Ha ha ha! heart attack. I'm like, you're gonna do it again! I'm <laughs> gonna trap Don't myself! Don't do it again! Self entrapment. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now you just have to not kill yourself getting those things. <laughs> I have to remember the exact. You way do to the do two it. middle ones, then you do one below. Middle, like middle, middle. Yeah, whichever side you're going to be on, you want to be on the right of it. So you do the two two ones above the middle, mm -hmm. right there, there. Drop in. And then do this one. Then that one. Right. And then you do two. There right. and then one. Yeah. It's the same pattern, but just inverted on the other side. Yeah. And then you should be good. Stretchy cat. As long as none of those guys have... Uh, oh, no, they would have shown their... Um, oh, maybe one of them has gold. Who knows? But uh, the one that's walking could, in uh, theory. Uh, no, there's only one left on the bottom. You can see how many gold you have to get. Oh, good. Nope. One more. There you go. That one. That, that one. one. Then turn around, and then that, and that one. one. And then the two above the hole and then one yay we figured it out well we figured it out it just it's <laughs> just just hard it. it's hard mostly it's the implementation of the ideas <laughs> in this game remembering to do things in the right order oh my god okay my turn. turn yeah and i'll read some stuff it's gonna be uh many series <laughs> of after darks <laughs> Made it to level 10! One fifteenth of the way there! Oh, Capital City Arcade reacted to my photo. <laughs> of us uh, making it through Atari Age Day. That's our local arcade. Super awesome arcade. Mm -hmm. Best I've ever been to. I haven't been to the one, the massive ones on like the East Coast. Um, and you can't really count. Portland Retro Gaming Expo because it's a temporary one. Mm. Um, it's so good as all my favorite games there. It mm -hmm. has um, Bosconian. I don't think I had Dig Dug. It might be on the multi uh, multi arcade. Uh, it has Satan's Hollow. It has uh, Tapper they just put in there. Um, it has Timber, which unfortunately was out of out of order last time. Yes, Timber's really fun. That's a really yep. fun game. Uh, it has Gyrus. Um, was the Miss Pac-Man fast when you were there? I yeah. think it was. It wasn't fast. It was? Yeah, no? it was. Okay. How do you get those? Oh, you have to dig a whole bunch. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, you could just go down that ladder. Dig the whole uh, side off. That's not hard. Oh, there, yeah. Yeah. Get it? Oh, what are you doing? Run! Oh, uh, that's not going to work. You're going to have to kill those guys. Oh, that's one. Yeah, trap them there. That's That would be good. Then you can just go dig the side down. Oh, my timing is pretty awful sometimes. <laughs> dig that side. Dig it. Ah, oh, what are you doing? No! Can trap oh. them again? Oh, no. This is not good. No, oh. running fast enough past I, them. I know. I'm trying to. F there must be somewhere where I can trap them. I'm just not oh. sure where. Uh, they have an escape everywhere. They. Do they? Yeah, they can go everywhere. You just have to put them somewhere. Easy. Yeah, and that's trap what I mean. Them, like far away. Like go down well, to the bottom corner. But if I mean, if they're up here at the top. That's right pretty here, good spot. They can't get across, so I don't know if there's a way to kind of trap them on that side. Bring them down and drag them over, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Mm. Come over to this side. Come on, you want to. Oh, he's going to fall. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's one guy. You come up here. Or he, he can fall, though. They can fall. Yeah, they can fall. You really just have to trap them and then, yeah, then they run for do it. Fall. Damn it. Thought maybe there was a good entrapment point. So oh I was gonna play a song, damn it, before <sighs> the show. Forgot about it completely. 
Um, so this is the uh, retail version of Load Runner we're playing right here. Uh, it was available at PRGE 2022. It'll be in the Atari H store very, very, very soon. Um, uh, Dion also made Amoeba Jump and Tower of Rebel, both such good games. He, he just picks the best games. Oh, no, what are you doing? Oh, it's one way. I don't think you did no. enough. No, I'm dead. You're not going to... That's probably easier. You have to do four. Yeah. Four, four three. Enough? Yeah, four. Okay. Four, three, two, one. I yeah. just... Yeah, that's fine. You could trap them it might there. It's easier to do it first. Possibly. Where? Yeah, it's easier to just do that first. In that hole. Okay. I don't know if you could. That would be very hard to do. Um... The packaging's done by David Exton. Uh, live in a bin. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Live in a bin. I'm live in a bin! <laughs> uh, so this uh, is licensed from uh, Tozai. And Tozai Tozai is a traditional greeting at the beginning of a J Japanese kabuki theater production. It means welcome everyone. The word Tozai is derived from To meaning East and Zai meaning West. It is literally a welcoming to everyone from East to West. Tozai Tozai. Yay! If they were mean, they would put slides on both of them. Oh, God, can you imagine? One at a time. Nice. Come on, you one. You did it. And then just run one, for it. Two. You can do it. Do it. Run. Run. Um, so their main IPs include Load Runner, um, R Type, and Spelunker, all super winners. Um, super winners. Super winners of games. I love Spelunker. I never made it very far. <gasps> what? Just trap them. Oh, for God's sakes. No. Trap oh, them. For God. Mm. There you go. And now run, run, Forest. Um, it's run by two people, Sheila Botton and Scott Tsurma. Mm -hmm. Tsumura. Scott Tsumura, who was the uh, COO and president at, Ninten at Nintendo mm -hmm. Software Technology. Just wait, wait one second. Oh, which do you developed want me games to play? for. Yeah, you play one more. Okay. Uh, which develops games for North America uh, for Nintendo. Um, so, Dion posted in the forums. Lots of ladders. Probably trap them at the bottom and then go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, but you have to go up the right. I didn't mean to do but it's not what I tried to do. Well, it did it. For God's sakes. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I remember this you, one. you you have to so yeah, immediately. So uh Dion posted in the forum post. Hi folks, this is the very the very no this the very first time I played Load Runner was at age 15 on my Commodore 64. As one of the early microcomputer games, it really stood out because it's challenging gameplay and smooth character animation. These little runners seem to be alive. The game instantly became one of my favorites. Uh, this is an arm enhanced game, right? Um, oh, actually, we need to read out the manual too. I believe it is. I think he was he started making the game. And he's like, I don't, I just don't have that extra little bit of time um, in the code to get everything done. And then he talked with John Champeau at PRGE 2019. And John gave him a 15 minute lesson on uh, ARM. And, and that got him going. Come quite on. enough time and uh yeah so this is this is arm oh oh my goodness cat fight um 
Uh, the game instantly became one of my favorites. I think it's safe to say that anyone who had a home computer in the 1980s lo knows Load Runner. This classic 2D puzzle platform game was developed by Douglas E. Smith and was released for almost all 8-bit platforms from that era. Apple II, Commodore 64, Atari 8-bit, VIC-20, IBM PC, ZX Spectrum, MSX, NES, etc. It even got an arcade conversion by IREM, produced by uh, Scott Sumura. More about him later. But it didn't stop there. Load Runner became available with each new generation of consoles, and today the game is available on all modern platforms. Xbox One, Live Arcade, uh, PlayStation 4 and 5, Sw Switch, and Stream. Steam. Oh my god. Can't talk today. Uh, while Load Runner got converted to many platforms, there was one that was still missing. I'm talking about the classic console that really propelled video games into everyone's living room, the Atari 2600. But, uh, that is going to change very soon, and I'm excited to announce that Load Runner for the Atari 2600 will be released by Atari Age at the upcoming 2022 Portland Retro Gaming Expo in October. And uh, will be available in the Atari Age store in November. <laughs> we'll see. Actually, it's quite a possibility. Can I chase you? Still, like, no, it won't let me chase him. Oh, we, that's interesting. You didn't go up the ladder. Ooh, you'll make it. There we go. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't help me. I don't know what I'm doing. I need to go up that ladder. Oh, everybody's on that. I remember having to lure everyone onto one one ladder. Yeah. Onto I don't even one know side. how you manage that because. Well, they're coming over. They're coming over. Yeah, but they're not following me up the ladder. And then go down. No, they don't. They stop. And they'll come down on this side. No, they stop. Oh, do they? And then I go, bloop. I oh. See, I did that and he turned around and I was like, oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah, I remember having a lot of trouble with this one. It was really, really challenging to get them all on one side or the other. Come on, you. Um, and he continues, you probably noticed the TM at the end of the load runner. Mm -hmm. That's because me and Albert from Atari Age have been working with the people from Tozai Incorporated which is the company that owns the intellectual property of Load Runner. Sheila and Scott from the team Tozai, yes, the same Scott who produced the arcade version in 1984, amongst lots of other games, have been taking great care of Load Runner and have pushed the game to all these modern consoles. And now they helped us get our game available on one of the most famous video consoles of all time, video game consoles, the Atari 2600, which recently even got its own official Lego replica set. I remember that. See, look. It's very expensive. Oh, there we go. Now they're following. Ah, uh, nice. Nice. But those guys won't. But that's okay. You get them down to the bottom, dig some holes, do the right timing. Actually, you might be able to... to if you to... wait just long enough. Perfect. Yeah, I can run down. Yay. Yep. And hopefully none of them... No, uh, one of no. them has one. Do, do they? Yep. Oh, see, I got it from one of them. Mm. That's annoying. Well, they're all up there. True. You're going to have to get get it out of them. There's four spots, and they're all in a row. So if you time it right, not yet. No, oh, that's not going to work, you don't think? Uh, maybe. Oh, no, let them get into the, the holes. <gasps> no. Oh, we can still do it. Dig some holes, get them in there. One more, and then get it, and you should be able to go up the middle. That's okay. Now, uh... <gasps> no! Wait too long, no. no. you know what? They will chase you. They will chase you. Grab that video wafer, Captain Mantuti says. <laughs> video wafer? Get those video wafers. Oh, uh, they are video nom, wafers. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, there's one. Oh, there are two right there for the grabbing. Ooh, if you fall down the right-hand side and get those two, you'll be home free. Oh, as long as that guy doesn't uh, grab it at the top there. Ooh, very nice moves. Oh, he had one. Oh, smart. Right, that's what I did last time. Smart. It worked out very well. Perfect. Get that guy. Don't just go to the left. And, no. And dig that. Oh, I no, can't. it's not going to be enough. Damn it. Have it's to too lure slow. them. I thought they were going to climb down. Um, a big thank you to the Team Tozai. To Team Tozai. You probably also noticed the beautiful artwork and the 3D render of the box. 
This was all done by David Exton, who did an excellent job on the box, manual, and cartridge label. Me and David both love the 80s Japanese video game artwork style, which is a bit more gloomy and threatening than most Western artwork from that time. You'll see that the that back in David's amaz you'll see that back in David's amazing artwork for the game. In the coming weeks, I'll be updating this post with a short backstory of how this game was created. Lots of stuff to tell, like how things kicked off after a private 10-minute crash course on CDFJ by John Champo at the 2019 Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, you'll get details on that in my interview with him at PRGE, and a little bit, I think, as well when... Oh, perfect. This works. Yeah. When we talked with him on Atari Age Day um, last... Can't believe that was only last weekend. <laughs> Seems like forever. Oh, you have to go up to that one? You have to go up the middle again, right? Mm -hmm. hmm. That's not too bad. Just dig four holes and then run past them. Oh, don't let them. Oh. No, they'll come back down. Okay. But Just, you're I'm fall thinking. Down with them. Oh, yeah. If they all fall down, hopefully, you can just go up the middle. Oh, they're not going to do that. That's okay. Oh, no. Just time it out, right? Nope, that's totally terrible. Yep, just do three. Quick, quick, don't get trapped. And no, it's not going to work. Damn it. You can't do four. You just can't. Oh, yeah, four is really hard. Oh, God. Nope. <laughs> They do a date now. I can I can separate out two fairly easily. Actually, maybe I can. Ooh, ooh, I this could work. Yeah, you only have to do two this time. No, come this way. Why are you going that way, you silly thing? Oh my goodness gracious! This is not gonna work. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Two more. No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> and then that died. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, it wouldn't have so mattered close. if he was in no. the middle. Unless I could have dodged him, but I think I have. When we when we did beta testing, you can dodge them on that ladder. It's very hard. So close. Uh I'll continue. How I got inspired by a forum user. Uh, forum post by user Zyklon, Zylon Bane from 2003, which showed that Load Runner could at least graphically be possible in Atari 2600. It looks absolutely stunning. How I adapted the original 150 levels into a 20 by 15 play area as opposed to the standard 28 by 16. How my team of beta testers helped make these levels actually playable. Um, yep, it was a lot of people that helped him out um, playtesting 150 levels, as you can imagine. Oh, they didn't have anything. Hmm. Trap those guys, get their gold, and then go up. No? Mm -hmm. No, these guys, I want them to follow oh. me. Uh, how the source code of the guard's quirky AI pathfinding algorithm was shared in a Japanese textbook from 1988 titled Learning Practical C Language by Source Program of Loadrunner. How Thomas Yench helped me to compress the tile maps for 150 levels into 11 kilobytes. How I got rid of lives and game over and replaced it with a modern gameplay design practicals, practices, unlockable levels, and a bonus timer. Um, there is a Sega Mega Drive's Genesis support in this where one button digs left and one button digs right doesn't uh, doesn't hinder you too much not having two buttons, but it's an option. And he says he prefers to play with just one button. Um, so let's get to the manual, which we actually didn't get into yet. Load Runner. Power-hungry leaders of the repressive bungling empire have stolen a fortune in gold from the people by means of excessive fast food taxes. Funny. Uh, your mission as a galactic commando is to infiltrate the 150 different treasury rooms. Evade the deadly bungling guards and recover every chest of bungling booty. 
The, this Atari 2600 version of Load Runner is a tribute to the original release from 1983, which defined the puzzle platformer genre using smooth animations and clever enemy AI. All 150 classic levels are here, adapted to fit the Atari 2600 limited playfield resolution. Avoid the guards, collect all the gold, and then climb up to the top of the screen to escape the next room. Good luck! Gameplay. Run around the level and collect gold while avoiding the guards. Uh, you're equipped with a laser drill pistol that can be used to drill pits and passageways. Shoot blocks beside your feet to evade guards and access hard-to-reach gold. Blocks will regenerate after a short time, so be careful not to get trapped. You can fire while standing on a block, climbing a ladder, or hanging from a rope. You cannot dig through solid blocks. <gasps> no! God damn it! So close. Oh my god! That was so close! He just died by one pixel. Well, he, he woke up, but I it was timed pretty well. Mm -hmm. Uh, gameplay. You must dig down through multiple layers. You must blast through enough blocks in the top layer to have enough room to shoot fire below. Fire repeatedly to destroy multiple blocks in a row. Guards can also steal gold. Dig a pit to trap them, and they will release it above their head. You can pick up the gold by running over a guard. Be quick, because eventually they'll climb out. You know that. You must collect all the gold and reach the top of the screen in order to exit the level. There is no limit to the amount of times you can attempt a level, but the points you score will only be added to your total on its completion. Good luck! Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, level. Select any unlocked level. Uh, speed uh, sets the speed of a player and enemy movement. The bonus timer always counts down at the same rate. So at higher speeds, skillful players can earn a higher end of level bonus. Theme sets the color and sound effects. Uh, one for Apple II setting, two for Commodore 64 setting. It's funny he didn't pick two for Apple II setting. Mm. Um... Passkey lets you input a passkey to unlock a level. Joystick up and down, change character, left or right to select a character. Uh, yeah, reveals your last unlocked passkey. And you can use the save key or Atari Vox inserted into the right controller. Uh, and the high score will be retained as well of all unlocked levels. This rem effectively removes the need for passkeys. Oh, that's a staring cat. What's up, buddy? He says, can I have treats? Yeah. Uh... Mm, yeah, game resets, resets the level. This talks about all those displays. It's like, oh, no time left. Oh, you just don't get a bonus, I guess, when the time runs out. Slow. I don't know how to... Yeah, Atari 2600. How to says, get them all four of them to one side? You want all four on one side? Yes, because you can't get up the middle. They all come back up the middle. So mm. either you have to kind of get them on both sides. There's unless you have to dodge them, but I don't think you're going to be able to effectively do that. So maybe it's something you have to do early on. Mm. Like get them up. I don't. I don't know because then they'll just run back to the middle. We did it at one point. We didn't do this level. Oh yeah, I remember this level. Like well, in the past, yeah, but in the like past. like I just I'm trying to figure out how you get them to. It was challenging. We can review our footage. <laughs> I don't remember doing this level. Uh, maybe I did it, or maybe we failed and gave up. <laughs> it's like Let you, somebody else do it. You have to. You you definitely have to. Tips: The guards do not always take the shortest path to the player, but can but can also move in counterintuitive ways. Sometimes, when the player and a guard are on the same ladder, for instance, the guard will move away from the player. Yeah, like that is not on this level. Nope, nope. For some reason, not on this level. Well, I don't know if it's the level where you yep, are screwed. dead. Oh no, you're not. You're almost dead. Oh, now you're uh, dead. Now I'm dead. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, fuck. 
it doesn't matter if you can't get them to one side. You want to keep two on one side and two on the other? Is that no? You want you all four? I don't on think you can do get two on one side and two on the other. I think mm. you need all four on one side. That's the only way to escape up the middle. Because if they're in the middle, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's something in their movement that will trick them. <laughs> Like, this is the way to get the extra gold they're carrying. Mm. Oh, not oh. even carrying extra gold, so... In some levels, to collect go some cold gold chests, the player must exploit the guards into collecting them first. they'll go up the middle. Mm. You somehow have to get them all up on one side. It's, it's ridiculous. And not up the middle. So you can like exit out the middle. Right. We've only got two there. If you dig two holes, you can get up the middle. Not what you want right now, but... Ugh, I didn't need to do that. It doesn't matter at this point. <sighs> Some levels require completing in a specific order yeah. because they're divided into zones connected by passages which are impossible to traverse in the reverse direction. Some of the game's puzzles in the advanced levels are time-sensitive. The player must dig in order to penetrate the interior of a room to collect gold and quickly return in the same way before digging repairs itself, enclosing the player in that room with no means of escape. Thanks to the late Douglas E. Smith for creating the classic 80s Load Runner game, John W. Champeau and Daryl Spice Jr. for getting me up to speed on CDFJ. Thomas Yench for his help with compressing 150 tile maps into 11 kilobytes. That's a, an unbelievable. Uh, the team of beta testers, Jamtex, Bomberman94, Zero Page Homebrew, Carl G. Hey, that's us. Zero Page Homebrew. Um, Carl G, Thomas Yench, sip, 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 sip. Sip, uh, McAllister, Splendid Nut, Esmeralda's 2008, Kiryu Yojimbo, and Mountain King. Thanks so much for helping me make every level playable. The Stella team for creating a great Atari 2600 emulator and debugger. Team Tozai for taking good care of Load Runner. And that's the manual. Kittens. How are you doing, kittens? Anybody want to feed the cats? They look like they could use some treats or catnip. Mm. Oh, yes. Anybody still around? There's some people watching. Anybody want to uh, click the little time, button? Oh, yeah, there yeah, we go. Yeah. Oh, he jumped right on me. Oh, your paws are so warm. It's treat time. Did you know that? Let's see what we have here. We've got some bells. Let's move all this out of the way. There you go. Who's going to ring? Ring your bells. Oh, Sprite rang a bell. Oh, Atari rang a bell. Good kitties. Thank you to It's Kev 73 for feeding the little kitties. Meow, give me food. Come on, I need to hear that ring. Not as lenient. There we go. Nope. You have to ring your bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Atari, ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring it. Ring the bell. Tari. Here. I'll bring it out here. How about that? There. Good kitty. Positive reinforcement. Oh, yes. Chelsea Donny Mouse says that's a gloriously fluffy tail. Oh, it is. Sprite's tail is longer than him and is the fluffiest part of his body. I'll give you a couple more. Oh, that was very soft, but it counted. Look at me! <gasps> go, 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 <laughs> You did it. No! 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 Get him. Dig no. it, dig it. Go far. Yes! Go, 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 go. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That was oh. so close. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. Yeah, Sprite's tail was covering one of the bells. <laughs> It's Kev, I wish my cats were not a pair of derps and would do stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a pair of derps. Oh, you know what? 
put out a bell and just they'll learn you hit the bell and you give a treat they yep. learn surprisingly fast there's many videos on the internet <laughs> about it i would suggest looking them up you can teach them in a, only a couple times type a couple days finally thank you yeah <laughs> well finally. done and finally i'm like oh yes I, I, you just one more level it's manipulating them based on their own movement really <laughs> yeah <sighs> oh it's gonna get there eventually mm-hmm oh, only three guys this time thank oh God. yeah there's always i mean when you when you start getting up in the higher levels there's always some trick like to it it, it, it will seem simple but it's not yeah Every yeah. every level looks simple at first, but then you go, oh, 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 that happens. Oh yeah. God, yeah, it's the it's the thing on the left there that's the yeah. problem, and that the guards have a bunch of gold on them right now. Yeah, that I know they do. <laughs> I know they have gold. Oh, they drop it when they. They do when they down. fall, which is good. It just gets too heavy for them. There you go. There you go. It's the gold. Yeah, you have to dig for that gold. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go up here. Ragdolls. Yeah, my my sister has two ragdolls. They're wonderful with her kids. Very, very sweet cats. But they don't yeah, they're they're definitely um what do I want to say? Um well bred cats. <laughs> well -bred cats. <laughs> Oh, poor babies. Oh, oh, so close. I could have just done that. They're definitely dirty. I'm going to go that Yeah, they're, that they're beautiful, beautiful animals. Rag dolls are dumb. <laughs> I wasn't going to say dumb, that. Dumb, dumb Oh, but they're so sweet. They're well, such sweet kitties. They just don't know how to think. Yeah. These guys, they were born on the streets of Vancouver. <laughs> actually, Abbotsford, which might actually be worse, but um, yeah. James is they're like, rough yeah. and tumble cats. James grew up on the streets of Abbott. It's for Langley. I'm joking. Oh my God. Oh did it no. Did it, it backwards? Happens. Almost. Good there. cuddles. Yeah, very cuddly. Yeah, these cats are cute. very cuddly. Thankfully. And death. Yeah. <laughs> Great sound effect there. Born on the streets. Oh, you were going to chase. He's going to pick up his sprite. Oh, naughty. It's a sprite. Naughty, naughty, naughty cat. Oh, his namesake. I probably don't need to do as much as no, I'm doing. No, I would actually do it from the left, not the right, but... That's true. Anyway. One. There. Good! Oh, we gotcha. <laughs> yeah, because you're making an opening. One. You're making an opening. Yeah. I only need one there. You, you, you could do it from the from the left because you have two at the bottom to drop so hmm yeah the good thing about this is that you make so many holes for them to fall in they can never even get close to you there you go there and the rest is whatever the rest is pretty easy because there's lots of places to dig and to Oh, trap you're going to get trapped. What are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> after all of that. Yeah, so and the easy. rest is easy. The rest is easy. <laughs> it's, it's barely the just a thought. The mean streets of L.A., yeah. <laughs> Where are my kitties? They ran away. They got their treats, and they're like, yeah, we have no use for that's you That's what humans. happens fulfilled your use we'll be back in a little bit for some treats but we know they're not coming anytime soon why do you go to that far end i don't understand Hush. backseat gamer <laughs> don't understand backseat gamer <sighs> you're better i think at manipulating and moving the guards than i am uh-huh but i don't always understand your digging <laughs> yeah yeah, you fall in that hole again. Give me all your gold. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mistake. No, it's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Stupidity. The, as the game wears on, you start to tire mentally, I feel. <laughs> yeah. Like all of us, all of us. 
It's because yeah. it's not an easy game. This will be so. the last level we're playing tonight. But you think? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's almost ten. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh my goodness! So, but it is Friday. I feel like I have to dig from the right because the guards after me. Oh well. well, yeah, that's true. But it's it's not that much of a problem. Oh, well, now you yeah. made me all messed up. Yeah, you have to start <laughs> over again. You messed me up somehow. Yeah, it's me. 100% me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... what, did, what did he say? It's it's, it's cooperative no mode, not bickering mode. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 oh, what? I thought they always... Turn uh, to the other side. Oh, why are you doing it from that side? Hey, hush, hush, hush. No, no complaining. I'm no backseat driving. I'm not complaining. <laughs> do it. Go over there. Do, do, do it that. this way. Do that thing. <laughs> Let, just give me the joystick. <laughs> just, just give it to me. Just give it to me. I can do it. I know it. what to do. Okay, come on, guards. Let's go up here. Let's couple up here. There you and I'll go. Cross over. I know they have some. I mean, they're picking them up right I know now. They actually. Have some. Yeah, they, well, there's three, so one of them does. Okay, Just guys. Just gotta get them on a straight there. Oh, there he is. Good job. <gasps> oh, goodness. I'm guessing this ladder will just let me get up to the top. I hope so. Oh. There you go. Woot! Record Level 12. time! <laughs> Okay, Out there's, of 150. There's the pass key. Um, uh, take what a I could of that. actually know. Well, we're streaming. Well, that's very what true. What I'm going to do actually is very true. punch, put in the save key. I'm probably going to wreck something, but. It probably had to recognize it on boot. But I'm going to do this anyway. go to level 13. I don't know if it'll save, though. Only if you pass it, right? It. I don't know when it saves, that's the thing. I didn't have the save key plugged in. So, um, this level looks... Difficult? If they come well, after you, you're dead there. Oh, no, you can drop down. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's not too bad. And then you go get them, and then they pass you. Be in trouble there. Yeah, I have to do another one. Oh my goodness. Nope. You've got them poorly timed. Let's do all three at once then. Nope. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh no. Now. That's the problem with this level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make. Sh I'm gonna see something. Um. Oh. Okay, what? I'm just going to try and turn it off. I also saw, I think, an H and a W, and also the um, font made it very hard to Hopefully figure out. It. But See, it's the save key found. Nice. It probably didn't recognize that, and it, okay. it didn't uh, save mm. those. Oh, look at that. Level 6. No. No. No, oh, you do need to... From, oh, from when you played it, we had the save key plugged in. Oh, Remember? Yeah. I wonder if we type in the code for each of those levels, it'll unlock each of those levels sure. next time we play it. It should. Yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Yep, yep, yep. So we can unlock them. There's not that many. Mm -hmm. But we'll just make sure we have the save key in next time so we don't have to mess around. Fun stuff. We knew it would be. What a great game. Thanks for hanging out with us mm -hmm. and watching us die over and over again on yes. uh, Load Runner. Uh, the one night I leave my car uncovered, it starts sleeting. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uncovered, well, I'll go cover it up, I guess. Ooh. Um, That's not hard great. to distinguish five from S. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, oh, it was a fun for one. Out. It uh, was a fun one. Yeah. So I think we went through the episodes that are coming up soon. Let me mm -hmm. just quickly run through them again. 
Uh, next episode, we're going to be doing ABBUC 2022 Part 2 with six more games. That's on Tuesday. Next Friday, it's Darcy Day early. Uh, Uno Plus Cart special with a secret homebrew. Oh, you nice. definitely want to be there. Uh, live interviews, Marco Yanis, Marco J, and Zachary Scolero. Uh, Zach Attack, we'll have them live on the show talking all about Uno Carts and the advancements that they've made with making games on them. Mm. Um, yeah, it's unbelievable, the stuff I've seen that they have shown me. Uh, then we're going to be uh, next Tuesday after that playing Gr Chaotic Grill, Immunity, probably a couple more games as well. Mm. Uh, Vectrack special <gasps> December 12th. <laughs> I'm so Very excited. excited for that. We're going to have two cameras going. Yes. One on us. One on the one screen. One on the Vectrack. So yes. Luckily we do have two cameras. Mm -hmm. well, we have um, and we're going to be hopefully not in the dark. Yeah. Hopefully it, it kind of works out. We can just film it normally. Um, we're going to be playing a whole bunch of Vectrex homebrew. And I'll have to figure out so which excited. ones we're going to play. Maybe all of it. Show or, a little bit of everything or... Or maybe just the my, my ones that I want to play and then we can leave for another Vectrex yeah, day. I one, think so. Now that I would know how to set it up at yeah. that point. Yeah. Um, and then, of Vectors. course... The 5th Annual Atari Homebrew Awards Live Presentation, February something. <laughs> Mid-February, usually, around there. Love them vectors. Mm -hmm, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I do. I love the Vectrex. When does the voting at, for Atari Homebrew Awards start? Oh, I'll give you a quick rundown. The cutoff for games, of course, is the end of the year for 2022. December 31st, 11.59.59 Pacific Time. If it's not date stamped in the Atari Age forums or somewhere else by that exact time, if it says 2023, no good, doesn't count. Um, then the um, nomination committee whittles the almost 150 Atari 2600 games mm. down to their categories and the 7800. Actually, this year we're going to have all of them. We're yeah. going to have 2600, 5200, 7800. Lynx yeah. and Jaguar mm -hmm. as well this year. So Very exciting. Have the categories changed at all compared to previous years? There might be a couple new ones. A little shifts. 2600 is going to be pretty much the same. It's, mm -hmm. it's the maximum it is right now. Yeah. Nobody's really went, ah, oh, I want another category. Mm -hmm. You know, there's the 4K. There's the rest. There's ports. There's non-ports. Um, there's graphics, sound, best game, that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, for 7800, we'll s Jaguar. Jaguar. <laughs> Jaguar. Um, Jaguar. For 7800, <laughs> there is there's work in progress. Yeah. It's finished. There's probably I think we did ports last year. Yes. So ports and non-ports. Uh, ports and non-ports, yeah. And we'll I like see that. I like that. 70, yeah, it's, it's a good categorization. There's yeah. the basic four. It's sort of like unique game versus a you know a, a previously because they're very used different concept. Yeah, ways I think of making so. Games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Seven eight hundred is taken off quite well, but I don't know if there's quite enough to like do graphics and sound. But maybe, maybe mm. this year we might add graphics and sound. But that adds a lot of categories. I know. Because then there's port graphics and sound. Yeah. Uh, non port graphics and sound. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's packaging as well, overall mm -hmm. packaging. It's all lumped all together because packaging is game independent. It's game independent. It's yes. like any artist, you know, this is an artist, has nothing to do with the game. Yeah. Other than, yeah, they draw their inspiration from the game. Yeah. Um, 600? Yeah. That's about right, maybe a little high. It's a little high. They're, I thought they were more like 450. Well, there's US. Were. That's U US. US. Yeah. That's so wow, it's that's 600. about right. Six hundred wasn't used uh, to be. Yeah, that's true as well. Um Yeah, for eight bit we have eight bit, we have Jaguar, we have Lynx. And it's it's totally dependent on how many games there are, how many we subdivide into it. Um Lynx and Jaguar are about the same number okay. of games. Not too many, mm -hmm. but enough to actually make categories now okay. and to include them. 8-bit has tons. So there might be a, more categories for 8-bit this year. Like, there's a lot of 8-bit games. Mm. Uh, couldn't really tell what shape it's in. Mm. Yeah, for 600, it better be 
tip-top shape. It doesn't have to be a box because that raises the price, but that's about right for, you know, a, a perfect condition Vectrex. Yeah. Um, it all depends if you want to spend $600. They're super cool. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad I've got mine at $250. And like back in the day. <laughs> in uh, yeah. the late 90s. Yeah. I got two for $250 each. Yeah. Um, and then another one, like, five years ago in a package deal and I sold it off because I bought the package deal for the other stuff like yeah. the Vectrex uh, imager yeah, and light pan and a whole bunch of rare games that I didn't have but now I have all of them I don't have to buy any more mm. except for homebrew when, in, when it's really cool homebrew yeah uh, anyway let's get off that uh, so that's it for tonight uh, thanks for hanging out with us mm -hmm. it's Kev73 Caffeman 2D Chalcedony Mao Chitlit La, Dan AVC, uh, Rendered Ghost, Atari 2600 Dudes, Smoked 3D4, Spicy Oatmeal, uh, Spicy Oatmeal, <laughs> Rendered Ghost, Buck Owens, Atari 800 mm -hmm. XL Rules, Old Style, Every Tower Collections, who went to uh, hook up his 130XE and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's it. Saxmeister I saw at the oh, top there. Oh, well, that's in the other show. We already said their name. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. And Chelsea Donnie Mal, good night. Yes, good night, And have a good weekend. All. Yeah, thanks for sticking around for well, the... After dark. After dark, too. Yeah. And we'll be back on Tuesday with more games. Yay. Yay. So uh, have a good weekend, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Bye.